A very warm welcome from my side here on the Festo stand in Esslingen. Today here, you know, we are showing our ability in automation, in factory automation, process automation, in digitalization. But in order to do all this, Festo has since long time, since over 50 years, a didactic branch. That means we want to show you as your, our customers how you can use our products, what is beneficial to know. So we are giving knowledge to you in the automation business. But Simon, Reinhard, you know, knowledge starts very early. Knowledge starts with the children. We need to encourage them to go with technology and to love to require knowledge in technology. And this is what Simon and Reinhardt will show you how this can be done. And you know how this looks in the eyes of the children when they have understood something. It's a beautiful look. And I think you will give this to our customers and due to our offers also this look into the eyes of the children. Thank you very much and have fun with this very interesting topic. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Martin, for this lovely introduction and a warm welcome from our side. My name is Simon and with me is Reinhard. And we are from the New Ventures division at Festo Didactic. Today we are talking about the topic of STEM and bionics education. Yeah, as you may, may know, Festo Didactic is well known for professional education, where we prepare uh, professionals for their job. STEM education is different. STEM education uh, targets secondary education and the abbreviation STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, math. And uh, less and less students are interested in, in the topic of STEM and uh, engineering. And so Festo Didactic decided also to enter this field and to offer something to support this. And the first question is, what is the difference between STEM and professional education? Professional education, as I said, is preparing for a job. STEM education is to bring something like technological literacy to the students, to the pupils. And this means they have to understand technology, they have to know how technology is made, what is the impact of technology on our lives and society. And of course, um, give them also an insight about jobs in engineering and technology. But the first step to do this is spark curiosity. And here's the good news, Festo Didactic has the perfect tool to do this, and this is Bionics for Education. And this is what you can see now in the video. You can see the, the sparkles in the children's eyes and the excitement in the faces. And this is what we recognize and what we want to support now to achieve is to bring Bionics into the world of secondary education with our educational concept Bionics for Education. So the first product we launched in 2018 was the Bionics kit. And this was very successful. With this kit, you can build three bio-inspired robots out of. It's the Bionic fish, it's the elephant, and the chameleon. And um, yeah, we, lot, we received a lot of positive feedback from the market and from the customer all over the world. And also questions concerning accompanying learning material. And now we have the perfect answer to all of these questions because we are offering a guideline and a learning path to, uh, to create a self-guided learning experience for the students. And this brings us now to the first product highlight. And this is our so-called interactive learning poster, which you can see here in the back. And this poster uh, supports the teacher to, uh, to his activities in classroom because it combines analog and digital learning in a playful way. Are you excited? So how does it work? Reinhard, could you please demonstrate? So the students scan the QR code on the upper left side of the poster and then they will be guided through the whole assembly process of the, for example, bionic fish. And after each QR code, they will get instructions for each assembly step with 3D animation, which you can see now in the video. And with the, the aid of these technical drawings, we want to, uh, yeah, 
we want to support the students to a self-guided learning path. And after the successful assembly of the hardware, the students will also get biological background information. And by this, they will successfully f complete this puzzle, which you can see now in the tablet. And after they successfully completed the puzzle, they will be rewarded with an augmented reality model. For example, what you can see in the tablet now, the bionic fish. And this is obvi obviously fun for the students. And it shows and it demonstrates that we use digital tools in classroom. And this demonstrates as well our game-based learning approach. And this also what we want to strengthen here, our digital competencies. And this brings me now to the topic of digital literacy, where is Reinhard going to talk about now? Yeah, the Bionics kit comes with a microcontroller to, to steer the whole thing. And uh, the easiest way to control it is to use your smartphone and connect via Wi-Fi and have a remote control. So also very young students can work with this. But right from the start, it was also possible to program the thing by using C++ with an Arduino compatible uh, system uh, and programming environment. But this is for advanced students. We offered uh, all the necessary libraries on GitHub so everybody could use it. But there was something missing for the younger students which st who started with programming. And now, thanks to the cooperation with Open Roberta Lab, we, we can offer a very simplistic and um, graphical-oriented programming interface, which is used by many, many, many students today, already young students. Uh, they have more than 200,000 users a month. And uh, with this, we are, we are able also to, to ov open the programming for younger and unexperienced students. And this is a first very good approach to create your own projects with the Bionic Kit, but there's another one. We offer free of charge the 3D cut files, so the students can download it, can use it with their uh, cut system and design new things and create their own Bionic uh, uh, experiments. And here's, here's one example for that. This is the, you see that the bottom part is from the Bionics kit, the original part, and then someone has designed an articulated hand on top of it. It's 3D printed. It's also actuated with the cable ties like in the Bionics kit. And the nice thing with this is, this is not made by us. This was made by one of our customers who gave us uh, the information. And this is a very nice example for creative work with the Bionics kit. Here you can see another example. This is a three-finger uh, Finray gripper, also 3D printed by one of our customers. So, in summary, with the, with the new um, learning poster and the programming, the Open Roberta programming interface and these project ideas, I think the Bionic Kits comes even better today. Perfect. So now we come to the next product <laughs> highlight. We are going to present and we plan to launch this year. And this is our Bionic Flower, which also comes with a construction kit. And now I will step over to the table where we're demonstrating the functionality. So, as you see, we did not take uh, the inspiration from the animal world in that case we took inspiration from the plant world. And what you can see in the video as well, so the role model for this bio-inspired robot flower are the water lilies and the mimosa plants. Because they have both one thing in common, and this is their opening and closing process. 